Good morning. My name is Dr. Mansour, one of the surgical doctors here. Um, can I please confirm your name and date of birth? Uh, yes, uh, my name is Mrs. Smith. Uh, it's 9th of October 1992. Okay. Yeah, I uh, um, understand that you do have some concerns about your surgery. Is that correct? Or? Uh, yes, doctor. I have been uh, waiting for a long while and I have been called into the theatre. I'm really worried what's up. Okay. Yeah, so so what's your understanding so far? What do you know? Oh, uh, yeah, I suffered an injury around six months back and uh, Dr. Sam, my orthopedic consultant, he told me that I required uh, uh, something to repair my meniscus and uh, he called me for surgery around three weeks back and uh, he could not do it because he had some personal work to attend to. Yeah. And I was posted again today and I'm still not being operated, so I'm okay. really concerned what this is. All right, so so uh, I'm, I'm really afraid um, that I, I don't have really good news for you. I, I sort of have bad news, unfortunately. So um, my consultant has been called for emergency surgery today and he would not be able to do the surgery, unfortunately and we will have to cancel again this time. I know it's very frustrating. You were cancelled before and that's your second time, but he had an emergency surgery that he, he can't really do um, an elective surgery at this stage and we'll need to carry on with the emergency surgery first and then we'll have to reschedule your operation. Oh, this is really bad, doctor. I have been, uh, I've been here for a long time and this has been done to me before and again, doctor, I have gone, I'm going to lose my job. I cannot afford any more leaves. All right. So so I, I, I totally understand all the, the the frustration that you might have from this. So being cancelled twice is not is not something that um, a normal person would tolerate, to be honest. But like I said, usually we operate based on some prioritization. So if we have a life or limb threatening surgery, we'll have to go ahead with that first before any other elective surgery. Uh, and your case, unfortunately, is elective. Um, I also appreciate that you mentioned something about your work and you cannot take any more leaves. What do you do for a living, if you don't mind me asking? Oh, I am post woman. Okay. Uh, and, and also, how how many leaves did you have so far? And, um, and how I many do you have uh, left? take around uh, six weeks and I have almost exhausted all of them. Okay, and there isn't there isn't by any chance that you can speak with the manager and get more leaves from their side and we're very happy to provide you with all the evidence that you need to to stay at home on rest until um, you're able to go back to work. Uh, all that is fine, but uh, how long do, do you think uh, Dr. Dr. Sam will take in this emergency surgery? Because I can wait and uh, I can wait and I can get operated when he's, when she, he's free. I'm, I'm, I'm really unsure how long is he going to take in the surgery. It's very difficult to expect. But what I can promise you is um, as soon as he finishes the surgery and I get hold of him, I'll speak with him and let, you know, and let him know that you're concerned about talking to him. But like I said, I'm afraid the surgery will not go ahead today because it's currently an emergency theatre and it will not have the capacity in theatre for you today. Uh, but uh, can you do the procedure? Because uh, when Dr. Sam explained it to me, it quite seemed quite a simple procedure. So I have no problems if you could operate on my knee and fix whatever is wrong. Yeah, I appreciate that it might seem like a simple procedure, but it only comes with experience and I do not have the experience to do the surgery on my own. So, um, and of course, to to be able for anyone else to do the surgery for you, we, we need to have an available theater for you with available staff and also uh, post operative care for you as well. And I think at this stage, you would not be able to do that. And personally, I will not be able to do this, I'm afraid. When do you think you can schedule me for another surgery? Can I get a date, please? So, so I'm, I'm afraid I will not be able to give you a date. What I can promise is that you will be contacted later on with a specific date about your surgery. And um, it's basically will be the same process like you were contacted before. Uh, so one of our secretaries is going to contact you and 
um, tell you the exact date and and the time of your surgery. Okay, and will I be correct in assuming that since this this will be my third time, so the surgery won't get cancelled again? So, so like I said, the the way the, the way the surgery or the theater list work is based on the priority for the patient. Um, and um, of course, if we had on that day any patient who's life or limb saving procedure, we'll have to go ahead first with those unwell patients. Um, I'm not saying that your surgery will definitely be cancelled. Again, um, it's very difficult to expect that. But of course, if in your day, we don't have any other emergency and you are it's your turn of the theater last will definitely will go ahead with the surgery. But I like I said, I cannot really guarantee that this will definitely happen. Of course, if anything like any patient came up very unwell, need to go to surgery first based on the prioritization, we'll have to go ahead with them. But like I said, we're not leaving you alone. Um, even if this happened again, We'll be very happy to reschedule the surgery for you and give you another time. OK, what else can you do for me, doctor? So so I, I think what we can do for now, if you're happy for me to proceed, we can speak about your pain.